beautiful people so we're gonna break down why God says touch not his anointed because anybody who touches God's anointing and does them any harm touches his anointed or does his prophets any harm or even his anointed any harm they will not be innocent they will be guilty this is why the Satan uses people their family their friends and communities and people to touch God's anointed and do them harm because he wants to accuse them before God so they won't go to the new heavens and the new earth so people who have touched God's anointed and done his half prophets harm they have big repentance to do because they're guilty like even and we're gonna prove this this is why David did not slew Saul because he would have been guilty that's why David says in 1 Samuel 24 and 6 he says and he said unto his men the Lord forbid forbid that I should do this thing unto my master the Lord's anointed to stretch forth my hand against him seeing he is anointed of the Lord anybody who God's anoint you're not supposed to touch them and you're not supposed to do them any harm that is why the chosen ones the anointed ones of God get the most attacks because Satan wants to accuse you before God like he accused Job now we're gonna get to it and in the first book of Samuel's chapter 26 verse 9 and David said to Abishai because Abishai was going to slew King Saul for David and he said to him and David said to Abishai destroy him not for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless so anybody who stretches forth their hand against God's anointed are his prophets they're guilty as charged they'll be guilty they have big judgments to face he doesn't care who you are he doesn't care if you're their family or your friends or if you know them or if you're a stranger. That is why Satan uses them to do it. Because whether they sold their soul to Satan or not, Satan wants to seal their faith so he can accuse them before God that they, even if they repent, they cannot make it into the new heavens and the new earth. That's why they have to repent. Because he's going to say, didn't you he'll say to God didn't you say don't touch not your anointed and do these your prophets no harm but look what I had them do to your anointed look what they did to your anointed look what they did to your prophets and didn't you tell them touch them not and he'll accuse you so Satan will laugh at you because he wants to seal your faith in the lake of fire with him he doesn't care all right that's why God said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. In 1 Chronicles 16 and 22 and Psalms 105 and 15. So Satan wants you, sends even his agents to do it. And sends their family and friends and people who know them to do it. They, severe, they, they get the most attacks because those people, he deceived them. He wants them to get judgments from God. He doesn't care if you're good or you're wicked. Did he care that Job was a righteous man? Now listen. 1 Job 1 and 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comes thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job? There is none like him in the earth, a perfect man and upright man, one that fears God and ensues evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for naught? Satan wants to accuse you before God. That's why he makes you touch God's anointed and do his prophet's harm. So you will be guilty before the throne of God. Has not thou made a hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth not thy hand now, and touch all that he has. And he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he has is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thy hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. So even Satan 
was not to put forth his hand against Job. He said, touch all he has. Those, the, the material goods. But on Job, don't you dare put forth your hand. So these people, they are not supposed to put forth their hand on God's anointed. Not even, God never said, don't do Job any harm. But you see, for his anointed and his prophets, he did not just say, don't touch them. He said, don't even do them any harm. So, because Satan wants to accuse these people before God, because he knows that God will punish them, and they're not guiltless. They are, they are guilty before God, touching his anointed and doing his prophet's harm. Do you understand that? Their judgment is big. That is why he doesn't care who he uses to do it, because he wants to say to God, didn't you tell them, touch not your anointed and do your prophets no harm? Didn't He already knows when God says, don't touch something. He knew when God told Adam and Eve, don't touch the tree of good and evil. The tree of knowledge in the garden. He told, uh, he told them. He knew what God did when Adam and Eve did that. When Eve did that, you understand? So, you have to understand... This thing is a people who he's anointed and he's set apart from every other people. Nobody's supposed to do anything to these people. So you're guilty as charged. You're not innocent coming against these people. And Satan knows that. Because Satan wants to seal your faith to go into the lake of fire with him. That is why he makes you touch God's anointed and do them harm. That's why they suffer the most attacks. Because Satan wants to make sure... You go in the lake of fire with him. These people have to repent. Do you understand? Why they, Look how many attempts Saul was trying to kill David. David said, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth my hand against him, seeing he is anointed of the Lord. What did God even tell Satan to do job, about Job? Only upon himself put not forth thy hand, but upon God's anointed, he told you, don't even, don't touch them and don't harm them. Because what? For who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? You are guilty as charged. God will punish you. Big punishment. Big punishment. Not little. 